Hello and welcome to your daily energy report. I'm Ben Lack. In the latest Solar Plaza rankings, SunPower's Maxion solar cells have a 22.5% efficiency, making it the most efficient monocrystalline silicon solar photovoltaics amongst other solar cells. This ranking is based on data collected from public sources as well as online product data sheets. Panasonic, with its heterojunction with intrinsic thin layer solar cells, ranks second in mono CSI cell efficiency at 20.2% while JA Solar has a ranking of third place with 20%. It is expected that materials used in crystalline silicon and thin film solar photovoltaic modules will surge over the next five years. The estimated worth of sales from the production processes and supply chain for solar cell manufacturing, including silicon, slurries, gases, wet chemicals, precursors, dopants, and other materials, amount to nearly $42 billion. The Susquehanna Rosalind power line is being built to maintain the reliability of the electric grid for millions of people in the Northeast. PSE&G and PPL are building the transmission line, and it's estimated that upon completion of this project, consumers will save more than $200 million per year by relieving congestion on the power grid, which will then reduce electric bills for customers. The Susquehanna Rosalind power line will run from Berwick, Pennsylvania to Rosalind, New Jersey. Arthur J. Gallagher and Company will hold a special conference call on April 11, 2012 to provide educational and background information on the company's clean energy investments. Anyone has the chance to see this call either as live or as a replay through the Investor Relations section of Gallagher's website at www.ajg.com. And finally, Southern California Gas business customers can have an availability of more than $30 million in rebates and incentives for qualifying for energy efficiency projects. Six local businesses were also recognized by SoCal Gas for their outstanding efforts in energy efficiency and conservation. These businesses include Air Products and Chemicals, Inc., Huntington Memorial Hospital, California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation, California Farms in Bakersfield, Kate School in Carpentaria, and Archer Daniels Midland in Colton. That's your Daily Energy Report. To learn about these stories and more, please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and also make sure to check out our podcast on iTunes. For the Daily Energy Report, I'm Ben Lack. Thanks for watching.